What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of a modern man. My name is Tulu and today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to dress like Harry Styles. If you guys don't know, Harry Styles is a British musician. He was on One Direction. I do have a video with him and Zayn Malik as well. So I did style break down them both. So in this video, I'm going to provide you guys with a few characteristic points that you guys can take from this video and you guys can apply into your own fashion style so you can take it up to the next level. Let's go. If you guys are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up and also share the content. So Harry Styles, this guy's a stylish guy. Not only it's in his name, but at the same time, I'm gonna break down a few characteristic points for you guys. So the first thing first, when it comes down to Harry Styles, is that he focuses on patterns. When it comes down to his dressing and his menswear, patterns are at the first and foremost of his pieces. So if you look into his looks, if you look into some of his pieces here, so as you guys can see right here, he's wearing a black and white polka dot shirt. This is actually pretty good because I like the whole fit of this. And yet again, I talked to you guys about having pieces that stand out from the rest. So that is pretty much the center point of the attention here. So he has a black and white shirt. He opened up to about his mid chest here, rolled up the sleeves to make it his own personal style, applied his watch. He got the bag as well and like the all black from the waist down is pretty sick at the same time he got some like old school cowboy boots as well so find that centerpiece at the same time everything else around it is going to work and flow off of that so here's another example but here's more of a cheetah print and this is the exact same thing i was talking to you guys about having that main center point and then working your way off of it and at the same time just have that contrast of the eye so first thing you're going to notice about is the cheetah print right so after that having black around this whole look is great when it comes down to patterns try to fulfill the space around the patterns with like pretty much all black or you guys can do other things and different combinations where i can get into later now i'm noticing a pattern with his style and you guys will catch on to this now now that the fact is that every time he wears a dress shirt with patterns or like a funky color or designs he's always wearing black so like i said before it's a way of focusing the eye so I want you guys to mix up your colors, mix up your patterns, and also if you guys do travel, definitely pick up something from a different region, and that way you can apply it to your own style, and that way you can like elevate your game and have a different perspective of fashion. And that's honestly the best approach when it comes down to like menswear, is experimenting with different regions of cultures, right? And seeing how they do things and applying to your own style. Now here's something a little bit different of the overcoat where it's checker print is on the outside of his suit so this is dope too because now we're doing the same thing but in reverse he he has the pinstripe suit underneath double breasted coat at the same time he has the overcoat so this is actually a great look and it's a great approach to the same standard of style but in reverse and the way he complements this whole outfit is no shirt which is pretty on edge at the same time he has the purple socks and he has the loafers as well um so this is this is tight. This is really this is a really cool look. It's really edgy, and this is pretty much him. And also he has the, the jewelry too. So next thing I want to get into is how he brings in this nostalgic feeling of the past within his outfits and his menswear. So if you, as you guys can see right here, he has a white shirt, some plaid pants, but then he has like these old school 60s socks, and then he has yellow tassel loafers at the bottom there. So this is what I'm saying about bringing something from the past into relevancy of today's modern days. So this look is what I'm predominantly talking about where he has the white shirt, he has the plaid pants, and then he has the old school socks, which kind of brings you back from like the 60s era. And then he has these yellow tassel loafers as well. This is what I'm talking about when I say bring something from the past into the modern day culture and future. And this is what he does. I will show you guys a few more examples of him doing this because this is something you guys can actually bring into your style. Um, but keep in mind for this type of person, his lifestyle and what he does, he's a performer. So he's always going to be dressing in the latest or trying to get the latest attention with what he wears but there's always key points where you guys can take away from this now this outfit is more like the nostalgic era of like the 70s you think of like austin power of like or like the psychedelic era you can just see how this outfit pops with color it's really in your face it's bold um you know magentic purple you kind of think of prince for example that's what i think of when i see this i think of prince this has that rock star vibe it has that edge and this is essentially what he's going for he wants that attention he's looking for that attention and this is suit 
literally brings him that attention. So another thing that I noticed within trends and within styles is that the flare cut pants are coming back in style. So the flare cut pants are the ones they used to call the parachute pants. It kind of comes down at the end of the kneecap and then disperses off until the ankle. So it kind of just shoots off like that. So that's something that is coming back into today's time and culture um, as well. So at the same time, this is something you guys can apply if you guys are interested in this at the same time. I personally think the people that will really like this or people like who are into dressing a little bit different than the norm. I kind of think of like Kid Cudi when it comes down to this. Um, someone who just wants to express themselves a lot more differently than the norm. So this type of thing is actually really Really good when it comes down to like you know the side stripe of these trousers if you guys want to stand out this is something I recommend you guys to do get into more flare cut pants here's another example of these flare cut pants I was talking about I'll see how they just flow with the wind um, that's just something that is quite popular and that is quite unique as it is so if you guys want that image if you guys want that style definitely look into recommendations that I provided in the link down below you guys can pick up yourself a pair of those but yeah, those are something that not everyone can rock, but if with enough confidence, you can do it. You can do anything, right? So the double busted suit as well. So this is edgy, this is different, and he has the white shoes. So from being from England, you just know that this is this type of style that you won't find in North America at all. But in England and Europe, their styles are ahead of its time. They kind of push back from the norm. If you guys look into like rock bands from the Beatles, from the One Directions, you can just see that they always have this uh, edge of dressing. So in this video, I just wanted to break down those two points about Harry Styles' style. Um, hope you guys can take something from this video. Uh, if you guys find it useful, just let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think of this first and foremost. And if you guys want me to start breaking down more, you know, rock stars uh, type of fashion looks, just let me know. So thank you guys for watching Arcway, A New Direction of a Modern Man. My name is Tulu, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.